Ladies and gentlemen, today, as you can tell by the title, I am finally bringing you guys this series you have been waiting for. Today, I'd like to introduce to you guys The Answer. The answer. Played the game and I'm still the same and I never change just to get a deal, but I'm ballin', ballin'. I came from nothing, it's nothing like it's nothing. Yeah, you know I done it. That is no discussion, bitch. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here, and as you can tell in front of you, or by the title, or by the little mini trailer I put together for you guys to see, today we are finally going to be starting a series, and that series is going to be called The Answer. The answer. Now, did I sound epic there? I was trying to go for that really dramatic sound to make it look like it was gonna be- No? No? Okay, let me stop. But yeah guys, today we are indeed going to be starting a series called The Answer and as you can see in front of you, it's going to be featuring our main man, Pink Diamond, Allen Iverson. Now the way I actually came to choose this player was I had a poll up on Twitter. For those of you not following me on Twitter, make sure to do it at Henry the Blasian. I will put the link in my description as it always is. You will be updated with everything I do and stuff like that. But uh, yeah guys, I put up a poll basically, had Pink Diamond AI, Pink Diamond Magic, LeBron James, Durant, all that stuff. Stuff, and you guys actually ended up picking Allen Iverson now one reason I was super happy about that is I don't think anyone's done a series with Allen Iverson and number two he is going to be the underdog in almost every situation we are actually doing this series with an undersized player at six feet tall in no situation is he going to be the dominant card which is gonna make things really interesting didn't really want to do it with cards like LeBron or Kobe and stuff cuz like I know I'm gonna hoop right away with those cards regardless of who's defending me so it would have been a little too easy kind of like the challenge with Allen Iverson and I think it'll actually make it a little more interesting for you guys to watch as well now uh, when we go ahead and take a look at the stats of this AI we'll skim over them super quickly just because most of you have seen it by now 99 offense and defense six feet tall 165 pounds he does have a diamond contract and a diamond shoe because we're gonna need all the help we can get to start off uh, you can see boosted to a 99 driving layup 95 open three is definitely notable you see he's got the mid-range he's got a free throw no dunking which is gonna kill some hype moments in the game but that means we can just do a bunch of difficult shots uh, he's got good ball control good defense which is gonna be elite one thing I do like is undersized players are usable he is super fast and he's also got six Hall of Fame badges pick and roll maestro ankle breaker relentless acrobat tireless score and difficult shots all of which I plan on utilizing like crazy especially that pick and roll maestro difficult shots duo you know we're gonna be abusing that but uh yeah guys this is the answer it is finally here i am super excited to bring this to you guys and a lot of you are probably already wondering htb what does the lineup for this series look like well without further ado let me introduce to you guys the lineup for the answer here it is holy ass And as you guys can see, we've got Pink Diamond Allen Iverson with an all gold starting lineup. On the bench, we've got five silvers, and then the last three are going to be bronze. Now, this is one thing I actually need feedback from you guys from, so I need you to be interactive in the comments. Are you guys okay with an all gold starting lineup like that? Should I go down to silver? Should it be all bronze? I personally chose it like this just because there is so many god squads online, and if I don't have a decent lineup, like there's just no way we're going to be winning a game. I feel like this is the best fit, or maybe should I go 
go all silver with no gold and then just the last three is bronze I want you guys to let me know I feel like this is probably the best combination but again you guys are the majority now if you do want to go along with the golds are you guys okay with these gold players should I switch to other players you guys are basically gonna be in charge of this series for the most part all you guys got to be doing is voting in the comments and liking people's comments do you guys like this starting lineup if you don't comment down below what you want switch if you don't want Rudy Gay and let's say you want someone like Wilson Chandler there comment down in the section below and if a lot of people like it then that's exactly what we're gonna do but so far for now this is the lineup we're lot rocking with we are going to finalize everything once we do episode one of the answer today is just the introductory and letting you guys know what we're gonna be up to now on to part two of the answer we've got the lineup and now we've got to have the rules so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the rules up on the screen for you guys and as you guys can see they are going to be called the answers rules and the number one is going to be one win one win is gonna get us one upgrade they're scoring 30 points is what I kind of had it at before I had it at 25 but I feel like 25 really isn't right 30 should be what it's at and that is going to be one upgrade and in the brackets it means every 15 points after that is gonna be another upgrade so 45 points two upgrades 60 points is gonna be three upgrades and same thing goes for assist there if we get 10 assists it's going to be an upgrade and every six assists after that is going to be another upgrade now i was thinking about putting that up to 10 or should i leave it at six i feel like six is kind of balanced but again you guys let me know down in the comment section below and i will be reading and reacting to all your feedback now as well as you can see underneath it we've got the ankle taker and that's going to equal one upgrade now this does not just mean breaking ankles we have to put the man to the ground now the prime time to be able to do this is going to be during our takeover when he's got his hall of fame playmaking going on and we take ankles now the guy has to be completely on all fours for us to be able to upgrade and as we continue to go down you can see a 20 point plus win is going to give us two upgrades if the person rage quits it's going to be two upgrades and if we lose a game we are going to have to downgrade now that's not all guys if you look to the right you can see there is going to be a comment challenge now the way this works is at the end of every video let's say today I'm gonna need you guys to comment a challenge for the very first video uh, you guys comment something and the one that gets the most likes is going to be the challenge we're going to attempt for example Allen Iverson has to get five dunks and that is going to be 20 upgrades or something like that that's kind of blown out of proportion but that's kind of the idea I'm going for whoever is voted the most aka the most likes is going to be the comment challenge of the day and and that is the one we are going to attempt in order to try to get more upgrades during that episode I feel like that's gonna be fun because it's gonna add different things to try to do rather than get the general upgrades and it makes it a little bit fun and you can actually change it up and be like if you get five dunks you get you have to open a pack or something like that now I don't want to do packs too much because let's say I pull like three diamonds boom I've already got like a god squad and then the series is kind of dying so I do kind of like the upgrades idea but I am willing to do the packs idea as well I think it'll be pretty interesting but uh, yeah guys that is actually what we've got so far I think this is gonna be an interesting series I'm liking the lineup I'm liking the idea I'm liking the rules there is gonna be some changes to the rules again all from your guys's feedback but for now this is what it's looking like this is what we're gonna be doing with the answer Allen Iverson and the squad we're gonna be taking on the my team unlimited streets I'm honestly scared for the type of cheese that's gonna be out there and stuff like that but I think this is gonna be a fun series and as long as a lot of you guys participate which you always do in the comment section then this should be be a fun time now with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazion nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day i'll see you back at the answers first episode whenever i decide to upload that probably in the next two days depending on how interactive you guys are in the comment section below but uh, yeah guys i hope you all have an awesome day and take care